Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make a keypad lock with an Arduino. Okay, so for this project we're going to need an Arduino board. I'm using an Arduino Uno. Now if you don't know what this is, I made a video a while back explaining it. So click here or in the description to check it out. You'll also need a keypad like this one, a servo motor, a 220 ohm resistor, a green LED, as well as a red one, some Arduino jumper cables, unfortunately I cut a few of mine up from a different project so I had to reattach them. Also the Arduino software, the Arduino code, and the Arduino keypad library. You can find links to all of these in the description. Alright, let's get started. First download the Arduino software and install it. You will also need the Arduino keypad library. So download that zip file from my website. Next, to add the keypad to your library, just select Sketch, Import Library, and Add to Library. Then select the zip file and it will be added. This makes the keypad command in the code work. Okay, so let's take a look at the code so we can understand just how it works. To make it easier, I already have the code from this project on my website, and I made it tailored towards this exact build. So just head on over there and download it. Once it's downloaded, open it up, and we can see that I have defined the keypad, the servo, and its position, as well as the password. I also mapped out the keypad's numbers, and the rows and the columns. Basically, the keypad has four rows and four columns, so that makes eight terminals. When a button is pressed, the wires connect at a certain row and column, which tells the Arduino what number is pressed. Then it just goes on and does an if-then statement, which makes the servo lock and unlock. Okay, so once the code is downloaded and working, it's time to build the thing. First attach 8 jumper wires to the keypad's terminal. Then attach all 8 wires to the Arduino pins 2 through 9, following the schematic. Next extend the wires from the lights. Then take both negative ends of the LEDs, twist them together, and solder the resistor to them. Then attach another wire to the other end of the resistor, and solder that as well. Now solder the jumper cables to the three wires. Then plug the positive end of the green LED into pin 13, the positive end of the red LED into pin 12, and the pin coming off the resistor uh, put into ground. Now plug three jumper wires into the servo. The wire coming off the black wire of the servo goes to ground, the wire coming off the red one goes to 5 volts, and the other wire usually will be white or yellow, goes to pin 11. Once it's all hooked up, you're basically done. If you plug in the board and download the code, it should work. As you can see, when I enter the code 153, the green light lights up, and the servo moves to the open position. Then if I press pound, it will move back to closed, and the red light will turn on. Now if I try a different code, it won't work. Okay, all that's left to do is mount it. I'm mounting mine to my door, so I just attach the lights to the pad itself and attach the pad to the outside of the door. And I attach the servo to the lock on the door and the Arduino board just above it. I've set the password to 153, but you can change it to whatever you want just by typing in a new number in the code. When that number combination is pressed, the green LED will light up and the red will shut off and the servo will move and unlock the door. When in standby mode, the red LED is on. If you like this video, don't forget to click the subscribe button and like my Facebook and Instagram to get notified when I upload new videos. Also help support my channel on Patreon. So as always, thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.